Along the shore, the cloud waves break. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Lost Carcosa. This is a playthrough of the Path to Carcosa storyline for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Specifically tonight, we're going to be playing Echoes of the Past, or even more specifically, Return to Echoes of the Past, as we're doing the um, Return to Director's Cut version of The Path to Carcosa. So the story so far, our investigators, Lola and Min, they've been living through this nightmare hellscape that started for them after the conclusion of Act 1 of the play The King in Yellow, um, took place at Arkham's Ward Theater. They barely escaped the Ward Theater with their minds intact, and then they uh, went looking for evidence that this was actually happening. So they attended the cast party for The King in Yellow, um, where the nightmare continued and the party guests just transformed before their very eyes, and they barely escaped with their minds and bodies intact. So now we pick up the action as they're heading down to Arkham's Historical Society to look for some more evidence about, you know, some hard evidence about the King in Yellow. Your head throbs with a dull ache as you drive through the rainy streets of Arkham towards your next destination. Well, I imagine they'd be taking a taxi. The threat of the stranger looms in your mind and you find yourself glancing often at your rearview mirror, expecting to see the expressionless visage of his mask haunting you. Instead, you see nothing but the misty starless night and the deserted road behind you. Your thoughts once again wander, as they have often in the past few hours, to the King in Yellow, to the city of Carcosa and its inhabitants. What was the message hidden inside that awful play, the meaning within its madness? A lone detail worms its way to the forefront of your thoughts, one made apparent by discussions you had overheard at Ms. Dumaine's estate, that tonight's performance of the King in Yellow was not the first Arkham had seen of the foul play. There had been at least one other performance directed by the same man, Nigel Engram. There is one place in Arkham where records are often kept of, his, of important events occurring within the city, the Historical Society's Manor House in Southside. If there are any records of the previous show of The King in Yellow, the Historical Society may have held on to them. Perhaps there you will find answers to the questions that burn in your mind. So unfortunately, we did not um, quite get to interview Sebastian Moreau, so we don't get any additional information. So we're just going to head right into the, the Historical Society here. So I've got the Historical Society set up. Um, we're going to start off in the entry hall. And um, one thing that's worth noting is since we fled the party, since uh, we fled the party at Constance Dumaine's house, we arrive with um, a bit of time to spare. So we get some additional, we get a fourth action on our first turn. So let's see what they have to do um, at the Historical Society. So what they need to do is race for answers. Each of the Historical Society's many rooms contains records and documents that may aid you in your search for answers about the King in Yellow. There must be something here that can guide you toward the truth. So we're going to just, it's pretty simple, it looks like we're just trying to get four clues in order to advance the act. And what are the bad guys up to? The truth is hidden. Surprisingly, the front doors of the Historical Society's Georgian Manor are cracked halfway open when you arrive. Who else could be here at this hour? Okay, so this is, a, this is a pretty interesting scenario because Doom is added to the agenda in unusual ways. So what's going to happen is um, there are going to be um, other people inside the Historical Society, and they're going to be swiping clues off the board. And when they, and when, and when they uh, steal a clue, um, those clues that they steal become Doom. So this is instead of adding Doom to this agenda. So, uh, and then when... Uh, the bad when the uh, the evil cultists get four clues, you know they'll advance. It's kind of neat. It's almost like, you know, we're investigating, and they're investigating. Kind of cool, eh? Okay, so the historical society is all set up. We're going to start off in the entry hall, and um, since this has returned to the path of Carcosa, we have a basement now um, consisting of this quiet halls and a couple of locations downstairs. Okay, one last thing I need to do. There are two players, so we're going to. Um, there's there's a uh, there's a friend up on the top floor, one of these guys, uh, a seeker of Carcosa. Okay, so he's gonna spawn. We'll just put him up here because it says on the third floor, right? Yes. And what do we have here? So at the end of the Mythos phase, he's gonna take a clue from the seeker of Carcosa's location. 
and put it on him. So he's going to basically make a doom at the end of the mythos phase. Okay. After one of the clues are facing, fill those clues under doom side. Okay. Spawns at empty locations. And then, aha, when an empty spawns at this location, reveal the location. Right. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. So effectively, this place starts off revealed. It's the historical library. And um, it's three shrouded, and it's got four clues there. The sheer number of books in the Historical Society's library is overwhelming. Even if you had weeks to spend researching, you couldn't hope to sort through all of them. Okay, so this uh, lovely little library here, this guy is looking for clues at this um, four-clue location. So it looks like at the end of the Mythos phase, he's going to basically successfully investigate one. And um, if we get up there, it's th Shroud 3. And after you successfully investigate this place, you can take a horror, take two horror to discover an additional clue. So I guess you can embrace the madness of the Dewey Decimal System, if it, if it exists in the 1920s, to uh, move faster. All right, so it looks like we have our target. We need to go deal with this guy, um, and that's going to affect how we do our opening hands. So um, speaking of decks here, before we get into opening hands, um, we earned five experience between us last scenario, um, of which... I have I had Lola take three of them in order to pick up a crystal and elder sign, so I've been having a good time using uh, dark horses in this deck, and crystal and elder sign is going to act like a third dark horse. Not only that, but um, it'll be able to stack with dark horse, and that'll be pretty cool if I get both a crystal and elder sign and a dark horse out. That'll be then she'll be rolling with fives and all her stats base. That seems pretty cool. Over to Min, she only earned she only earned two XP. Now use it to pick up two copies of Sharp Vision. Um, they're one XP each, and men can take them, and they're basically going to act like a third deduct. They're going to act like copy three and copy four of deduction. Um, it just seems like just a little extra efficient. Uh, Min isn't using anything special like fingerprint kits or anything like that to do her investigation, so all of her investigations are basic, meaning that Sharp Vision is just going to work fine. Okay, so let's um, shuffle these decks up. Okay. And I think I've got everything set up. We've got our chaos bag, we've got our encounter deck, and we've got our two decks here. So let's go ahead and draw opening hands for Lola and Min. Okay, here we go. Let's start with Lola. I guess what we're mainly looking for in our opening hand is a weapon or some way to deal with this guy because he's going to be gaining a doom every turn. Since we're not getting a doom every turn from um, placing doom on the agenda directly, we're going to have to swat this guy down. And it's, it's pretty high priority. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, Vicious Blow, that's good. That'll help. Uh, magnifying Glass is good. Dark Horse is really good. And as much as I love invest Improvisation, I think I'm going to mulligan these two to try to look for a weapon. I think I'm also going to mulligan the Magnifying Glass as much as I love it, because I think we could really use a weapon here. Okay, one, two, three. Don't get that. Oh, we got a weapon. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we've actually got a weapon and a Vicious Blow, meaning we can take this guy out in one shot. So that's going to work out pretty well. We can't quite afford the Dark Horse and the Derringer immediately, but I think we'll manage. Okay, over to Min. She's mainly looking for multi-clue materials and assets. Dream Diaries, Analytical Mind, both of which would be pretty good. Oh, we've got our Lab Assistant. That's great. We've got a Magnifying Glass. That's great. Crack the Case is great. Grizzly Totem's great. Okay, so we're going to mulligan that away. Um, that'll give us a nice little resource bump. One, two, three... Now, we'll, let's go for our analytical mind here. Okay. There it is. Okay, that went well. Okay, so I think on Min's first turn, if she plays analytical mind, she'll be able to start helping Lola. So let's get started. All right, so the two of them, they start at the entry hall. A long, warm hall and two grand staircases greet you as you enter the manor house of Arkham's Historical Society. So there are, oh, sadly, no clues here. And we can resign. That's nice of the author. Okay, so we've skipped the mythos phase on the first turn, so he's not going to get a clue until next turn. Or rather, get a doom. But still, we need to go chase this guy. We hear footsteps upstairs, and you know, Lola's got a gun in her, in her purse. This is going to be pretty nice, because she's got the Derringer, and she's got an act of desperation. Fish's blow's nice, so Lola's doing pretty well. So I think we're going to have Lola go first here, just for simplicity's sake. Um, we'll start as a survivor because we're going to go Derringer, one, two, three, two tokens, and then I'll just move twice, because next turn I'll be able to go move, engage, shoot. So she'll go up here. Okay, so we pass through the each, so two copies, two instances of the quiet halls. Other than the creaking of the wooden floor beneath your steps, the manor is eerily silent. Okay, so there we go. 
All right, so what do we have? So we have no clues on either of these. And then it looks like they have an option to, if um, if for some reason we lose all the clues on all the locations, we can kind of reboot the, uh, you know, keep the game going. All right, so that's Lola's turn. Uh, do I want to stay a survivor? Sure, because that's like the first thing I'm going to do next turn is use survivor cards. All right, over to Min. Um, I think what we're going to do is first auction. I'll play the lab assistant, and then we'll see what we draw. Okay, oh, winging, that's good to see. And deduction, both are good to see. All right, so that's that. Let's get the analytical mind down sooner rather than later. Okay, and then I think with Min, since she's got an analytical mind, let's have her help out Lola by... Um, by I guess I want her to be near, because if she draws a bad guy, you know, that would be troublesome. Okay, so we'll have Min move up here. She can help out Lola, that's good. Okay, she's not going to be able to afford the Grizzly Totem for a while, because I pitched the uh, Crack the Case. Hopefully we'll draw a new one soon. And hopefully the Analytical Mind, getting that going, will uh, help her draw some cards. I could really use some question marks. Yeah, maybe I should have gone to one of these two locations to turn on the Inquiring Mind. Oh well, we'll manage. Okay, so um, let's go to upkeep. So we'll start with Lola. Let's get a manual dexterity and a resource. So manual dexterity, not useful right now, but it might be useful later. All right, over here, we're going to get a sharp vision. Ooh, that's really cool. Yeah, one thing to also note is analytical mind. I think it combos really well with sharp vision because Min can pitch it into one of Lola's investigate tests. <laughs> nice. All right, so um, that's the end of the turn, new turn. So we're not going to, we're not going to be putting a doom on the agenda each mythos phase. Instead, we're going to draw encounter cards and then put a doom up there. All right, so we've got an Acolyte. All right, so he goes on an empty location and then he puts a doom in play. Um, where am I going to go after dealing with this guy? Probably over here. So let's put him there. And then it says here that when an enemy spawns here, reveal it. Okay, so what do we got here? Peabody's office. It's four shroud with four clues. While an investigator at this location controls Mr. Peabody, that lo this location gets minus two shroud. This office must belong to somebody important within the historical society. So I think the only reason to go in there is to take the doom off this guy. Other than that, I so I don't think I'm going to send Min up there because it's four shroud with four clues, and there are other places that have, you know, same amount of clues and less shroud. There's no victory points there or anything. Over here we get Hunting Shadow. So you have to spend a clue or take two damage. Well, we have no clues, so I guess damage it is. All right, so what are we going to do? Um, Lola's going to go move, engage, attack. And when she does that, she's going to be at three, four, five, six versus two. So yeah, she's set to go. Oh, end of the Mythos phase. He steals a clue and it turns it into a doom. Okay. So I guess we'll just have Lola go first then. Okay. First action move. Okay. Uh, second action, engage this fella. Third action, I'll shoot my Derringer and I'll commit a vicious blow. So we are at six versus two. Okay, that works. Okay, zero. All right, that's three damage. So he is dealt with. Okay, so that problem is solved. That's one doom a turn taken care of. All right, we'll swap over to Guardian? Nah, we'll stay, we'll stay Survivor because I want to put this Dark Horse down next turn. Although I won't, I'll have four resources and I won't really be able to. So yeah, we'll swap to Guardian. All right, over to Min. Um, let's just start looking for, we could go up there. Three shot, three clues. I might be able to do better than three shot, three clues. Yeah. So I think I'll, um, since she can help Lola anyway, um, let's go here instead. Okay, what do we got? Oh, three shroud, four clues. That's what I'm talking about. And then it says here, oh, and it's just like that upper historical society. She can take two horde to discover an additional clue, which I might end up doing actually. All right, so first action we moved in there. Now let's get let's get investigating. Play the magnifying glass. So now we're at five versus three. Let's try to get all let's try to get all the clues right now. Yep, I'll commit sharp vision and deduction. And then use min oh wait. If I wanted to use analytical mind, I have to do one at a time. Okay, let's do one at a time so that way I can get analytical mind. Second action, let's uh, commit sharp vision. So I'll be at four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. That seems pretty good. I need to succeed by two. So eight versus three. Zero. I succeed by two, so I grab both the clues. 
Maybe I should just save that for Lola's test. I guess that is a small problem. Yeah, maybe I should. So if I investigate normally at five versus three, that'll save the deduction for Lola's test. All right, that might actually be a better idea. Okay, we'll do that. So third action, I'll just investigate at five versus three. Okay. Oh, failure. Well, I'm glad I didn't put the deduction in. Yeah, that would have been awful. Okay, so that's all our actions. Um, we're just gonna leave this guy here for now. All right, we'll go to upkeep phase. Whoops. Card resource. Ooh, track shoes. Very good to see. Okay, and over here, another lab assistant. That's good to know. That means we can trigger this to um, take two horror on the lab assistant, and then that'll clear up for another lab assistant. Okay, new turn. Uh, no doom goes on the agenda. Instead, we're going to draw encounter cards. We have one doom out of four right now, and we're about to have two doom out of four. All right, um, let's put it over here so we can reveal what it is. Yeah, it's a little bit far away, but Lola's got track shoes. She'll be able to get over there. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And what do we get? Historical Society Reading Room. From the flickering lamplight and open books, you can tell that someone was reading in here recently. All right, so it's, an act, it's five shroud and one clue, which is, yikes. Unless we're doing crack the case, don't really want to do that. So it's an action we can investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, cho choose an enemy with doom on it. Take one of that enemy's doom, flip it to its clue side. And, ooh, so maybe we can just have men clear the doom off these two acolytes and turn them into clues. I like this. That seems like a good plan. It does seem like a good plan. All right, what do we got over here? We've got a maddening delusions. Okay, so we take a horror if we have hidden cards in hand. So we don't. And what do we got? It's a hidden card. Okay, it's the end of her turn. If she does not perform at least a draw action, then she takes damage and horror. I guess that's not too bad at this stage in the game. All right, so what are we going to do? Let's have Min... Let's have Lola go first. Let's see if we can get all three of those clues off the Historical Society. I mean, if we have Min commit the deduction, Lola can use her take the initiative. So right now she's at three. Deduction would put her at four. We can have Min put her at five. Yeah, or we'll just have three, oops, three base, four, five, six, seven versus three. All right, I like this plan. So we're going to have um, Lola go first. First action, she'll investigate, commit, take the initiative, and min's deduction. Min will use analytical mind. Okay, that's good to see. All right, so we are at three, four, five, six, seven versus three, and hopefully we'll discover two clues. Nice. Okay, so we discovered two, and we'll have her take two horror to discover the third clue. That way we just you know, don't have to boost Lola's skill, um, investigate test much more. So that's three clues. We could advance now, but I don't think I want to just yet. Do I want to? Yeah, I mean, I could advance. Yeah, we could just advance. Seems fun, although... Oh, we're going to spawn Keepers of the Oath when we uh, advance, though. Hmm. Well, I think Lola's almost ready to take one down. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's advance. Um, we'll spend three of Lola's clues and one of men's. And what do we got here? Late night studies. You find a record kept by one of the society's historians pertaining to the dreadful events surrounding the closing of an old theater in Arkham, the Cedar Playhouse. Though there is no explicit mention of the King in Yellow, you believe you are on the right track. The historian's notes are cut short, and there is a faded handwritten page clipped to the final entry. This matter is too ghastly for the public eye. It's a ghastly re revelation. I am placing the remainder of this record in the hidden library. All further inquiries should be done away from prying eyes, for this is a dangerous matter, and not one to be researched lightly. Okay, so we're going to... Um, I guess we're going to reload. Um, so we're going to reload some of the uh, historical society locations and spawn some things. So I'm going to go take care of that. Okay, so we've set up Act 2 here. So what's changed? Um, we've Some of the locations have gotten um, some of their clues back uh, to give us more places to go. And we've also spawned this Keeper of the Oath here as part of the Return 2 set. So he's really tough. He's, he's a 5 to fight. And it says here, while the number of the current Act, in our case 2, is greater than the number of the current Agenda, our case 1, Keeper of the Oath gains Hunter. And then at the end of the enemy phase, find each investigator whose location shares a trait with his location. Oh, like third floor or basement. Okay. So I guess he um, steals clues from 
Each of those investigators keep... Okay, so he basically steals clues when he's on the floor, on the same floor, and he's going to hunt us while we're, I guess, ahead of the cultists. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. I spawned him down here because I wanted him to reveal a location for us. In this case, the Dusty Archives. Okay, and three shroud, two clues. All right, so that's one action of Lola's. Um, what to do now? I could just keep investigating, but I think I'm definitely going to take at least one action to play Track Shoes. I would play Dark Wars here, but she'd be down to one resource with no way to spend it. So let's, second action, play Track Shoes. Okay, and then third action, I think she's good where she is. Yeah, so I think I'm actually gonna draw a card within the third action. Another manual dexterity, okay. Oh, I should have taken a resource, so that way I can play Dark Horse next turn. Oh well. Okay, over to Min. Um, well, one thing I do wanna do is I wanna Probably somebody should have Lola do. I think I might have Lola do this next turn. Is go over there and punch that uh, acolyte, or go over here and punch this acolyte? Hmm. I think it's something I want to work on. I want to start heading towards this reading room again, so that way she can clear the doom off of this guy. Seems like a good plan. Oh, by the way, run Act Two: Mistakes of the Past. Somewhere in the manor is a hidden library where you might be able to find more information about the King in Yellow. You must find your way in if you are to continue your investigation. So we just need four more clues. Pretty straightforward. We have one already. So maybe we can have Min just uh, grab some more. Seems like a plan. And so first action, we'll have her investigate at, she's at five versus three right now. Okay, not too bad. Um, I could put the winging it into it just to get it in the bin. I'm short on resources though, and winging it's gonna get into the bin on its own. All right, so we're at five versus three. Let's... Yeah, just test it like that. Seems fine. Okay, uh, that's a minus one, so we succeed. And I think at this point I'll take two horror, or rather let the um, lab, lab assistant take two horror to um, discover two clues instead. All right, so that was her first action. Well, I do want to play another play a lab play another lab assistant, but maybe next round. Um, I could I have to put a form of draw action to hold that off. So I perform a draw action, I go up to eight cards, and then I'll go to nine cards and upkeep, and that'll put the wing it in the bin. Oh, that seems good. All right, second action, I'll draw a card. Ooh, magnifying glass, that's good to see. All right, so I actually want to get the winging it in the bin, so I need to not draw, I need to not draw. So I think I can just investigate again. Seems fine. I'll be at five versus three. Won't commit anything, though. Uh, super success, okay, that's good. So I'll do that. Do I want to take two horror? Yeah, let's live on the edge. Let's take two horror to clear this location out. Okay. Uh, that's good. So we've cleared the location. We don't have a crack the case, though, but that's fine. All right, end of her turn. Um, this would trigger, but she has she's taken a draw action, so she's okay. All right. Is that both our actions? Yeah, that was both our actions. So this guy's going to hunt us. Okay, so he's still in the basement. He's just going to creep up every turn. All right, so I think we have a plan to have... Oh, we could actually just... We could just progress. Let's get things under control before we uh, advance the act. All right, so we're going to go to um, upkeep. I think I'll swap to survivor this turn, so we're good there. Oh, that's good to see. That's always good to see. Okay, over to Min. So she goes up to nine cards. Oh, she would have gone up to nine cards if it weren't for this thing showing up. Oh, that's too bad. That is too bad. Okay, how's she gonna clear it? She might have a hard time clearing it. I mean, I've got, I've got access to four question marks right now, thanks to Glimmer of Hope. Min herself would make five, but I need another card with, I guess I can do an, an intellect check. All right, we'll see how this goes next turn. Okay, we've got a challenge in our hands. All right, over to uh, Mythos phase. We've got two Doom on the board. Okay, he doesn't, yeah, basement. Okay, so he's not gonna steal from us. All right, and let's see what we get. Most visions in your head, death. Okay, so move actions hold off um, the visions. What do we got here? False lead. Ooh, if you have one of our clues, test it. For each point you fail by, place one on your location. Ooh, I don't want to place one on the location. Although, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It is only Shroud 3. For each point you fail by, though, that can get nasty. Um... Do I want to? Do I want to? Am I okay with failing this? 
because I could take heart and like bank up failure. Oh, I can't commit one or two cards to this cultist anyway, so take heart isn't going to do anything for me. All right, well, if I can't commit anything, I guess I just take it. Okay, so we're at five versus, oh, just four versus four. Minus one. Okay, so we lose one of our clues and put it back on the location. Okay, that's too bad. All right, what are we going to do? We could have Min draw some cards to hope to be able to deal with the king in yellow. Seems like actually a plan. Yeah, she can get the wing it in the bin too. That looks good. Um, what I'd like to have Min focus on doing here is get here so she can start clearing Doom. I think our king in yellow test, the test that we're going to do to clear the king in yellow, is going to be against that to try to clear some Doom out. I think that's how this is going to go. So who do I want to go first? Let's have Lola go first. Mm. She's close to affording Dark Horse. She can go resource Dark Horse move. Yeah, that'd be actually kind of good now that I think about it. Resource Dark Horse move. Okay, we'll do that. First action, take a resource. Then we'll play Dark Horse. Okay, so now Dark Horse is online, and now we'll move and use Track Shoes. So she's going to be at 5 versus 3 on the Track Shoes. Okay, so she moves there, and we'll test, get a 0. Okay, so we move down here. Yeah, we're going to clear this place out for Lola, I mean for uh, for Min. That being said, maybe Min could uh, punch that guy to death, punch, punch that guy down. I mean, she's already got access to four question marks. Yeah, if she gets another question mark, she'll be able to uh, to do that. All right, well, that's Lola's turn. Let's swap into Guardian now. Okay, over to Min. Okay, so first action, let's draw some cards. We're going to play another Lab Assistant to draw two of them. Okay, here we go. We're starting to formulate a plan here. Okay. Plan is beginning to formulate. I can't commit one card. I need to hurry up and commit some more cards. So if I go... I could go. Can I punch this guy? I could. I have enough pips to punch that guy. Seems hilarious. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, but I don't have enough actions to go punch that guy. Okay. So I guess I investigate. I can investigate here and then move out. All right. How important is it that I clear the king in yellow right now? Not really. Okay. So second action, I'll investigate. I'll be at five versus three. Minus one is a success. All right, so we've got that clue back. All right, and third action, we'll move out here. So next action, we're next turn, we're going to go in there and clear the king in yellow. All right, end of the turn, we lose this, and we take a damage and a horror. Okay, so we're at eight cards. That's good, so, on, so an upkeep will go to nine, and we'll discard the winging it. That seems good. All right, that is all our actions. Um, this guy's going to hunt. All right, he's got three health. Okay, another vicious blow would be really good soon. So Lola can deal with this guy, or another weapon in general. Well, she's got her uh, one. She's got one ammo left in the Derringer, and then active desperation. So she can take care of this guy. All right. So that's all that. New turn. Well, rather, sorry, upkeep. Card resource. Ooh, that's good. More question marks. Oh, don't want a resource. More question marks. And also, if we draw more three cost assets, which Lola has quite a few of, we'll be able to pay for them without breaking Dark Horse here. All right. See. Synergies, Dark Horse, Improvisation, Dark Horse, Improvisation. And I'm, I'm starting to really love the synergies here. Okay, over to Min, we get a card. A, oh, hello. And we'll discard this winging it. Okay, that's good to see. That's good to see because then she can maybe go over here. She can remove somebody's doom and she can, maybe if she gets that clue, she can play Crack the Case. Okay, I like this plan. I like this plan. All right, new turn. Uh, we don't add any doom to the agenda, so instead we'll... Here we go. What do we got? Let astray. Uh-oh. So she can't place a clue on a cultist enemy because she doesn't have any, so she's going to have to place a doom on the agenda. Okay, well, that's fine. Oops. So we're at three out of four. Okay, and over here, she has to either spend one of her clues or take two damage. Yuck. Um, I don't want to take damage, so we'll spend a clue. Okay, that's not too bad because it's... She gets clues back pretty fast. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Lola punch the. We're gonna have Lola deal with this guy, and then Min can, can start using the historical society. That seems like a plan. Min can clear the king in yellow off that shroud five investigate test. 
Yep, sounds like a plan. So we're gonna have Lola go first. She'll move in, engage this acolyte. Okay, then she's gonna deck this acolyte. Right now she's at four versus three. This is like already that's that's pretty good. I don't need to shoot him. Um, I could go to I can go three over. Is that worth it? Hmm, he doesn't retaliate or anything. Um, well, she has two chances, so I'll just I'll just uh, punch him at one over. Oh, a success! Sweet. So he is dealt with. Okay, now third action. Not much a whole lot for Lola to do right now, which is actually a good thing. Um, we don't want to investigate because we want Min to crack the case. Okay, that's a group limit once per round, so we want Min to do the historical society. So she'll just hang out and draw a card, I think. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, fine clothes. Not doesn't look like we need fine clothes this scenario. Okay. All right, now here we go, Min. We're gonna clear the king in yellow. So we'll move. Whoops, not that. Ah, not that either. All right, so we'll move in. Okay, we're gonna clear king in yellow. Do I want to do it with the doom flip, or do I want to do it with um, an investigation so I can crack the case? Uh, let's do it with the doom flip. That way I can use inquiring mind on the doom flip. All right, so first action I move in. Now I'll go. I'll try to f I'll try to flip the doom over. With, so, but it is an investigation test. So right now we're at five versus five. Let's go to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven versus five. Um, let's hold that. Let's go. I have to put in six icons. I can trigger Min to put in one of them. So that's four icons right there. We need to put in at least three cards. So I'm at four, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six icons plus five. We're at eleven versus five. Okay, this looks good. 11 minus 0, sweet. Um, okay, the uh, cat from Ulthar agrees that that was pretty sweet. I think she, I think she wants to get fed, but uh, I'll deal with that in a sec. Okay, so we'll trigger Eureka, and don't. I guess I'll take another Eureka. Don't need another take. Don't need a take heart right now. Take hearts have been kind of underperforming, but I might swap those out um, in time. Yeah, Lucky is good to have. Okay, especially since we're soon gonna crack the case. All right, and most importantly, we um, clear this guy's doom and turn it into a clue for men. All right, last action. Let's investigate and try to get that clue so we can get a big crack the case. Oh, and King Eel is cleared, very important. All right, I would put it in the magnifying glass, but I want to be able to have lucky, I wanna be in lucky range. So I'll be at five versus five. Hmm, not the best. This could be the part where I put in take art, actually. Yeah, that seems like a decent plan. Um, I'll, I'll just test it five versus five, put in take art, and draw with analytical mind. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. And if I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I'm lucky, wow, so I lose my take art. I get this, get this clue, and play crack the case. And I'll give myself five resources, because Lola doesn't need any. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Lola moved, so that did not trigger. Okay, so that went well. Um, I might have lost a take heart. Yeah, I have a feeling we're doing a really good job at passing tests this group, so I don't think we need take hearts in this group. Okay. Although that was, I mean, of the times I could have played take heart, that seemed like a decent time. I mean, I'm probably not going to get a better chance. Yeah, I mean, the skulls were zero, so that really helped my odds. I would have been at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tokens out of seven tokens out of 17 pass. So the odds were in my favor for take heart triggering. Okay. And yeah, that's everything. Okay, so this guy's gonna hunt. All right, Lil's gonna have to deal with him pretty soon. All right, new turn. I think, I think what we'll do is we'll advance this after this guy's dealt with. So we only have one of these guys wandering around at a time. Oh, we're on the, oh no, he's gonna, whoops, he's gonna steal our clues or rather, yep, we can't steal Lil's clue. Okay, I screwed up. Yep, he's gonna steal our clues. All right, Lola definitely has to take care of him. Okay, that, now we'll go to upkeep. Okay, easy mark. I will not take a resource. Okay, over here, Eureka, good to see. I thought I shuffled. Did I shuffle? Maybe I didn't. Okay, ooh, Dream Diary, that's good to see. Yeah, we've got the resource to afford it and everything, and the Grizzly Totem. 
Okay, new turn. I uh, don't place Doom on the agenda. We've got two Doom out of four, and let's see what we get. Oops. Visions in your mind. Okay, so we have to perform a resource action or take a damage and a horror. Well, that's probably happening. Ooh, we have one of these guys. Okay, so we gotta go. He's gonna get cl steal clues off locations. Um, so after Lola deals with this guy, we'll have him deal with this guy. Okay. End of the Mythos phase, he um, he turns a clue into a Doom, but if there's no clues there, he, he just puts a Doom on himself. Okay, so Lola's got a job to do. She needs to deal with this guy and then deal with that guy afterwards. All right, but I think I'm going to have Min go first in order to, um, I guess, get some extra cards that she can use to help Lola. Um, so first action, let's play Dream Diary. Okay, second action, play Grizzly Totem. Okay, now what do I do with my third action? I don't, oh, I can maybe make this test. Do I need to this turn? Not really, because Lola, well, it kind of gets a clue. It's Shroud 5, though. Min's testing at 5. Next turn it'll be good, because then the Dream Diary will trigger. Okay, um, do I have Grimmers of Hope in the discard pile? I have one of them. I could just draw a card. Yeah, and then she can help out Lola and trigger an analytical mind there. Okay, that sounds good. Let's draw a card with a third action. Ooh, sharp vision. That's good. That'll help us for helping getting some multiple clues. All right, over to over to Lola. Here's where the fun begins. Um, she's going to need to move out here, engage this guy. Okay, so he's at... F Ooh, I wish I had a vicious blow. All right, so we're going to start attacking. Uh, swap to Survivor, and we'll shoot him. Okay, so currently we're at 6 versus 5, which isn't so great. But luckily we have Min to help. 6 versus 5, we'll pitch in the Glimmer of Hope. That's 7 versus 5. Grizzly Totem makes 8. We'll use Analytical Mind. We're at 8 versus 5, and we'll trigger Min to make it 9 versus 5. Okay, that seems good. Ooh, super success. Oh, wait, that was Lola's super success. <laughs> so um, she succeeds, she deals two damage, and she can swap roles if she wants. I don't think I will, because I'm about to play Act of Desperation. All right, that went well. Okay, and then now Lola's going to go again. Yes, move, attack, and we're going to use Act of Desperation. We're going to chuck the uh, Derringer at him. So we're going to be at three, four, five... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven versus five. Okay. This is where we'll use... Lola's got a ton of cards, so I think we'll use a um, Improvisation. Yeah, that seems good. So we're going to be at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus five. Minus one. Okay. So we might have gone overboard on that one, but we've taken him out. Okay. Very important. Okay. And we gain three resources off the Derringer. Okay, so hopefully we'll draw a new um, weapon or something. End of Lola's turn. She performed a move, but she did not take a resource, so that'll go away, and she'll take one of each, which is fine. Okay, that is all our turns, so we're going to go to upkeep. Okay, let's see what Lola gets here. Oh, an Enchanted Blade, nice, and she won't take a resource as a result. Okay, over here, we'll get a Lucky and a resource. All right, that's good. New turn, we... We're at one Doom out of four, and let's see what we get. A Fanatic. Spawns at the revealed location with the most clues, and then he turns a clue into a Doom, basically. Um, so that's going to be up here. Okay, so he turns a clue into a Doom. Okay, this seems like a good candidate for Min to, like, swipe off of him. Okay. And what do we got here? A Mysterious Channing. Ooh, add two Doom to the nearest cultist. Fortunately, this does not cause the agenda to advance. So we're going to... That means we definitely need to take care of this guy this turn. Whoops. And how are we going to do that? He's got three hit points. Lola can go move, Enchanted Blade move, attack once. We, Lola can't take him out. That's unfortunate. What do we got? We've got four Doom on the board. Actually make that five. All right. This is problematic. OK. Yeah, because Lily needs to play Enchanted Blade, she's not going to be able to take this guy out in one in this turn. We could have Min move twice and maybe punch him. That, oh, aloof. That's going to make it even worse. Okay. So we're advancing next turn, I think. 
think we are. Another possibility is Lola could, could go move, move. Nope, that's not going to work either. She just doesn't have enough actions to deal with all the Doom on the board. So I think what we'll do... All right, we'll plan to uh, we'll plan to advance the agenda next turn. That'll clear everything off. This guy is still going to be a problem, though. So I think we have Lola suit up to deal with this guy. So that's but that only covers one of her actions. Um, she can engage him. Yeah, it seems fine. She'll take a horror as a result. Uh, she's a decent amount of horror. Hmm. She'll take a horror as a result of being attacked by that guy. She can go Enchanted Blade, draw, move. Hmm. Then attack him next turn. That's not a bad plan. Okay. Yeah, it's not that bad of a plan. Or the next, but next turn she can go like engage, attack, attack. Okay, so maybe we'll just have Lala draw cards and get in position. Like move. Yeah, maybe we'll go move, Enchanted Blade, and draw. Okay, so we'll start off with the draw just to see what she gets. We're going to swap to Guardian at this point. So we get a Daring. All right, that'll be useful next turn. Um, second action, I'll play Enchanted Blade. Okay, and third action, let's move. Okay, so that means this is covered. Min, however, oh, we need to get some clues if we're going to advance. Yeah, so how are we going to get those? Not so worried about this. So maybe we can have Min go somewhere else. Like here or here? What can we have men do? Well, we want her to make some tests. With no clues there. Do you have to move three times to go there? Mm. Seems awful. Oh, she gets that though. Okay, so she, maybe she can get a clue by making this test on the historical society. I mean, she's that's providing plus four question marks. Let's do that, and it'll draw her a card. Okay, so first action, we're gonna do this investigate test. And I guess we'll clear this guy's doom. I don't think it actually matters that much. Yeah, we'll just do one of these Seeker's dooms. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we are testing. We are currently at five versus five. We'll pitch this in to go four over, and I'll use Analytical Mind. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're four, we're four over now. Okay, that's a minus one, so we successfully grab one of these guys' doom and turn it into a clue. Okay, that was action one. Not much left to do here, so I guess we can move out. Yeah, we've got the logical reasoning. She can use that to heal Lola. Okay, we'll do that. So let's let's just move over. Well, she just gets replaced with this more clues. Maybe we'll go up here. Then next turn we can go there. Or we can go down here and see what's down in these one of these two locations. Yeah, it seems like a plan. All right, we'll head down there. We can also go looking for more victory points. All right, so that is all our actions. Yeah, that was a weird turn. So it looks like we're going to have to let the let the agenda advance, but that's okay. All right, upkeep. We'll draw a card and not take a resource. Okay, over here, draw a card and take a resource. Oh, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're good. All right, so at the beginning of the, the, beginning of the mythos phase, we are going to advance the agenda. Okay, what happens? Dark Ritual. A phrase in a language you cannot describe whispers through the building, whispers through the building, and without warning, all the electric lights shatter at once. You light a nearby candle and continue your search. The building is quite different once plunged into darkness. Shadows and silhouettes dance along the walls. Crevices you hadn't noticed before draw your weary eye. Your wary eye. What other secrets does this building hold? Okay, so we just shuffle this into the encounter deck. That's not so bad. Although I guess this guy's in the encounter deck now. That could be problematic. All right, and what do we have here? Agenda. T oh, he has a he had a victory point. Yeah, he was not supposed to be in the encounter deck. He's supposed to be in the victory display. Oh no, where did I put him? There he is. Yeah, he had victory zero. He doesn't go in the encounter deck. What am I thinking? Okay. Agenda two: ransacking the manor. Though the whispering has ceased, the sounds of rummaging and furniture shifting is unmistakable, so we just know that there are cultists around. Whoever is here, they're searching just as thoroughly as you are. Okay, so it's the same as before. Not too bad. All right, now we'll get encounter cards, and then we'll see what happens. We'll start planning out the turn here. Oh, one of these again. Um, I guess we're going to have to put a doom on the agenda, because we have no clues. Ugh. Yuck. Oops. Oh, he's going to get this doom at the end of the mythos phase. 
Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, another one. Okay, Lilith's got work to do. Here, maybe? That'll reveal the location. Yeah, I mean, I could go here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have Lilith come down here. We're going to be at three Doom, though, so this is going to be kind of ugly. What do we got here? Each enemy at this location gets plus one fight and evade. Oh, uh, so he's three to fight? That's well, not too bad. This confined room contains numerous files that might have been helpful to your investigation were it not for the thick, awful sludge fi filling the file cabinet drawers. Gross. Oh, and it sucks that he, it does suck that he's, he's going to steal easy clues. So that's too bad. All right, so let's get rolling. Um, let's, let's deal with this before um, we advance, I think. So Lola's going to go first here. So it looks like what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to just engage and attack twice. Okay, we'll do that. Engage the seeker. We could have Min go first to set up. What if we, if we had Min go, what would she do? Could she deal with this guy? No, she can't do three damage. Um, if we were to have Min go, we'd have probably have her go here. Yeah, that seems good. And then she can um, go looking for clues there. So if we have Min go... Yeah, she might be able to get better icons to help out Lola. Okay, let's do that. First action, we'll move into this room. It is a historical museum. Oh, just like the uh, playmat. While investigating this location, your books cannot be modified. Most of the objects on display here are from the early 18th century, spanning Arkham's colonia colonization and early history. Well, that's too bad. So, um... We can't modify our, so we can't do that. I think we can still throw pips into it, though. Well, I'm at least figuring Eureka. All right, so second action, let's um, investigate. I'll be at four. Oh, let's, no, let's not investigate. Let's play winging it. Oh, and I forgot. This is supposed to be in my hand. Um, let's play winging it out of the bin to try to get both clues. That's why it's in the deck. Okay, don't, don't, you got to remember these things, Matt. All right, so we are at four versus one. Yeah, because we can't be modified. Pitch in this Eureka. Okay, so it might still mean four versus one. I'm not sure. Use analytical mind. Okay. Okay, so that's a minus one. All right, so we get both clues. Okay, that's good. And we trigger Eureka. One, two, three. Yep. Whoop. Oh, yep. I think we got too many cards in hand. We're liter we're dropping them. So we don't need the hay cart. I guess we can keep the glimmer of hope. Nah, let's keep the unexpected courage. Let's be smart. Okay. That, and then that's shuffled back in. And that's in the discard pile. All right, so that was action one and two. Action three, I have no assets to play. So I guess I'll just move out. Yeah, I don't really want to advance just yet. Yeah, so we'll just move back out. Yeah, we're going to have to look at advancing soon. Look at all these cards here. Well, you know what? I'll play the fine clues. I mean, we might have to make a parlay check. Yeah, let's just do that get it out of our hand and get that into play in case we need to make parlay chests. I mean, we got this Mr. Peabody guy. He's being mentioned. Okay, so now with Lola, let's first action engage the Seeker. All right, now we're going to attack this guy. Second action, I'll attack. I'm going to be at one, two, three, four, five, six versus two. That's six versus, yeah, two. Um, we could have Min pitch in to help. There's really no need to, so we'll attack. Six versus two, that's a success, so two damage to him. Okay, third action, I'll attack again, but without using a charge, so I'll be at five versus two. Yeah, let's have Min pitch in on this one. He's going to lose some of these cards anyway. Pitch in the essence of the dream. Okay, so we're at five, six, seven versus two. Success, so he is dealt with, and can send his doom back to the shadows. All right, that went pretty well. We have two doom on the agenda now. Okay. No active enemies, so let's... Oh, she didn't move, so this happened. Right. So there we go. Okay. Upkeep. Card, no resource. Okay, looking good. Over here, card, resource, and she has too many cards in hand, so let's drop... Oh, I could have played Crack the Case. Uh, let's say I remembered to play Crack the Case and get two resources. Now we're fine. Okay, let's roll that back for a sec. It's not, it's kind of harmless. All right, new turn. We have two Doom out of four, and I think we're going to, I think we're going to look at advancing this turn. The King's Edict. Ooh, for each cultist in play, move one clue from that enemy's location to that enemy. Oh, yuck. 
Oh no! So that's he's gonna get a, he's gonna steal a clue. Oh man, that's a lot of doom in play. Uh oh. Yeah, this is gonna be. Uh... Oh wow. I uh... maybe I should have paid attention to all those guys. All right, so it looks like we're advancing if we can't do anything about it, and we have a locked door. Touch the location with the most clues, which is gonna be up. We'll put it down here. We have no intention of going down there. We'll say the door's locked. Okay, um, so we're going to advance unless we can remove... Oh, and he gets a Doom. Okay, so unless we can take this guy off the board, we're going to advance. And we don't have a good way of doing that. Because Lola can only... She can move once, twice, but... Nope, she can't get down there. Alright, we're going to have to look at... So let's advance ourselves and start racing them, I think. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I knew that was in the deck. Yikes. Okay, so here we go. Let's advance. We're going to spend Min's, four of Min's clues. Okay, and let's advance to Act 2B, Secret Passageways. As you rummage through a desk drawer, you are startled when you hear a voice behind you. Excuse me, can I help you? You are relieved to find the voice belonging to a thin elderly man wearing wide-rimmed glasses, a member of the Historical Society, no doubt. You explain to him that you are searching for a hidden library somewhere in the manor, though you purposely leave out why. He introduces himself as Mr. Peabody, the Historical Society's curator. Curator, I'll help you find what you are looking for, but only if you can tell me what this is all about once we get there. You hope it doesn't come to that. Okay, so we're going to refresh some of our clues, and then we're going to have... And then we're going to spawn a couple of other things and set up for Act 3. So I'll go take care of that. Okay, so we're all set up for Act 3. We've spawned another Keeper of the Oath here, and um, we've spawned him here in the Historical Society boiler room. Yeah, we're not going down there. After you discover one or more clues at this location, draw that many cards from the encounter deck. Yeah, no thank you. Okay, so we've also spawned the hidden library. Most of the researchers in the historical society don't even know of this library's existence. What terrible truths could it be hiding? So at the moment it's not connected to anything. And uh, I'm guessing the act will tell us how that works. We've also spawned Mr. Peabody, historical society curator here. Um, he takes up the ally slot for men. And as an action, Min can exhaust Mr. Peabody to choose a location. Until Mr. Peabody readies, that location gets minus one shroud and gains the passageway trait. This building contains many secrets. I will show you some, but even I don't know them all. Okay, so we have Mr. Peabody, and it looks like he's going to help us get into the hidden library. And I think I can see how, because we're on Act 3, The Oath. This building is very old and filled with all manner of secret passageways, Mr. Peabody explains. Perhaps one of them will lead to this library you're looking for. Locations with the passageway trait are connected to one another. And here we go. So we need to get six clues and spend six clues in the hidden library in order to advance. Okay, so we need to get into the hidden library. And it looks like the way to do it is some of these historical society locations have the passageway trait. Specifically this one, the Dusty Archives, um, this historical library, that historical library, and Peabody's office. So from those four locations, one, two, three, four, we can get into the hidden library if we exhaust Mr. Peabody. Okay, one thing that one other thing that's worth noting is that where'd it go? Ah. While an enemy is moving, hidden library gains the passageway trait. Okay, so a hunter f at one of these four locations can hunt into the hidden library. Okay, so we just need to get clues, and I think um we're there's no way we're going to avoid advancing the agenda because we can't take this guy out this turn. I mean, Lola could go one, two, three, you know, first action move, second action move, but that's it. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to try to blitz the hidden library and get as many clues as we can. All right, here we go. So I think the way to do that is if Min exhausts Mr. Peabody to give the hidden library passageway, then Lola will be able to walk in there and get started. Okay, but what can Wynn do on her other two actions? Probably just move close, move towards a passageway. Well, let's see here. One, two, three, one, two, three. The closest one is right here where Lola is. So I guess we'll just have Min exhaust Mr. Peabody. Okay, and then, oh, she gets this back. Okay, we'll have her exhaust Mr. Peabody and move twice. Um, is there anything else worth doing? Maybe logical reasoning, but no, we're gonna, we're gonna try to blitz the uh, the library. Okay, that means Lola can move into the hidden library now. So let's do that. Okay, first action we'll move into the hidden library and see what's in there. Okay, what do we have? The space was a small reading room carpeted with cobwebs and dust. 
Filled bookshelves lined the walls, but a few books lay scattered on the floor as though their readers had abandoned them in a hurry. Okay, so I guess it's Shroud 4? Shroud 3 while Mr. Peabody's exhausted, so I guess we're just going to try to scoop up as many clues as we can. Um, I mean, we could scoop up these. We have two left, so we only really need to scoop up four. I'm going to try to scoop up six because two victory points is probably worth it, considering we haven't seen a single victory point so far in this scenario. We're going to have to get some XP somehow. All right, so that was first action. Lola moved in there, and I think we're going to start investigating. So Lola investigating right now is at four versus three. Min, however, can help. So we're going to have Min chuck in a sharp vision. Okay, so that'll put her at four, five, six, seven versus three. Use analytical mind. Okay, that seems pretty good. And we want to succeed by two, so I'll exhaust this grizzly totem as well. So she's going to be at four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Seems good. All right, here we go. Eight minus one, that's a success for two clues. So that means we're four out of six of the way there, but we still need to get four more clues if we want to, um, you know, do well. All right, if we want to get some actual victory points. So that was second action. Third action, not much else to do but investigate some more. So let's have, right now we're at four versus three, we'll have Min pitch in this Essence of the Dream, since she's going to get it back anyway. That'll add an additional two. So we're at six versus three, and we've got all these, we've got all this. Um, is it worth putting an unexpected courage or an improvisation in? Nah, but I'll put this easy mark in. So now we're four over. Okay, that'll give us another clue. Okay, so we still have three more clues to get in order to get some um, victory points. We're one off from uh, being able to succeed at the scenario though. Okay, so that's all our actions. Um, this guy's gonna move because he's, he's a hunter. I guess one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so he's probably gonna end up hunting and hunting this way and going into the hidden library that way. These, these guys don't hunt, do they? No, they don't. Okay, so that takes us to upkeep, okay, where we get another unexpected courage. That's pretty good. Nope, don't take a resource. Over here, we'll draw a dream diary and take a resource. We have too many cards, so let's drop the winging it. All right, um, everything refreshes, and new turn. All right, so we don't put a doom, but we're gonna advance, so. Let's see what happens when we advance. We kind of got blitzed to doom pretty fast. All right, how does this, what happens here? Oath breaking. The front door of the manor opens, letting in a howl of, letting in a howl of chill wind and the pitter patter of soft rain. Then it suddenly slams shut. You find a place to hide and eavesdrop, wondering who else might have entered the building this late. No, I swear, I swear I don't know where the door is, a man cries out. You'll have to find the path on your own. I cannot help you. He sounds, he sounds panicked and disoriented. You spoke the oath, a man's voice responds. You spoke his name. The man stammers, no, I cannot, I will not. Then his voice becomes distorted and he speaks no more. You hear footsteps on the staircase, heavy and wet. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have a possessed oath speaker and Sebastian Moreau are both going to spawn in the entry hall. Well, we remember Sebastian from earlier tonight. Okay, so these two fellas are going to, are in the building Okay, whoops. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we've seen Sebastian before, Savage Hysteria, want to be in our next performance. So he's just going to hunt us, and he's going to deal a lot of damage, and yikes. But we've also got this Possessed O Speaker. All right, so he's also going to hunt. He's got 10 health, which is quite a bit. Um, cannot be damaged during Act 1 or Act 2. That's fine, we're in Act 3. And then... At the beginning of the enemy phase, we must either ready possessed oath speaker or place a doom on it. Oh, okay, so that means you can't like evade tank it. And if we defeat it, we go to resolution three. All right, um, ten health is a lot, so I think we're just gonna try to rush, um, try to rush the uh, these three clues, and before this guy comes to get us, comes to get us. All right, so that was the doom. So now we pr progress to agenda three: secrets better left hidden. Whoever these people are, they must be involved with the conspiracy behind the King in Yellow. You can't let them find whatever it is they're looking for. Okay, so now we'll go to um, encounter cards. Oh, how much doom left we have? So six doom until bad things happen. Okay. The King's Edict. Oh, no, not again. Uh-oh. All right. Cultists who steal doom. Yep. 
Okay, so this guy steals a clue, this guy steals a clue, and this guy steals a clue. Okay, not a cultist. He's a cultist too, but um let me face with the trait with the keeper of this location. Okay, so he doesn't steal one because it's not one on his location. Yikes. So that is we're already at three doom out of six, and we're about to go to four thanks to the this guy, this seeker of Carcosa. So uh things are looking pretty grim here. We're already at four doom. Okay, well that's the end of the mythos phase. Oh, we're about to go to five doom. Reveal the location with the most clues. Okay. So reveal the location with the most clues is this one up here. So he's gonna steal a clue from up there. Oh yikes. So we're already at five doom. That was fast. It's not much we can really do about it. So hopefully we can just get these three clues this turn. Yeah, unfortunately Min's not gonna be able to help because she's gotta activate Peabody and move twice. All right, so what do we do? Um, we'll just try to get the clues. Um, Lola's got three of them. If she can discover all three, we'll be able to actually advance. Okay, but Min can spend an action to um, lower the shroud, which is good. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna have Min go first, grab this. We're gonna lower its shroud and Min will be able to get in. So one, two, three. All right, Min's not gonna be able to play her wing yet, which is kind of unfortunate. But she's in the location. She can get started. She can uh, help out. Okay. So hopefully next turn we won't doom out. I don't think we will because we're at what? One, two, three, four, five. We should be fine. Okay. So let's see if Lola can get all three of these clues and then we can, uh, you know, that'd be great. All right. So right now we're at four versus three. Um, let's have Min help out here. She has no multi clue cards that she can pitch in. So let's pitch in an essence of the dream. Um, it is Shroud 3 right now, so that's going to be two question marks. So Lola's at 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're still at 6. Let's go to 7 with this Grizzly Totem. Yeah, 7 versus 3. Seems good. Okay, minus 2. That is one clue. All right, so we are. that's one of three. Okay, that's one of our actions. That's gone. All right, second action. Let's try again. We're going to be 4. Let's go to 6. And let's trigger Min to go to seven versus three. Uh, success. Okay. And then third action, let's go again. Try to get this victory point. And we'll do, we'll have Min chuck in this time. Okay. So then she'll trigger the uh, her Min ability on herself to add three. So we're going to be at four, five, six, seven versus three once more. Okay. That's going to be a minus two. Okay. So we succeed. And. I think we're just gonna advance because I don't think I can I don't think I can deal with this guy. There's really no reason to stick around and uh, you know, doom out. Alright, so um we're gonna it we're gonna spend six clues. We'll have Lola do it since she did all the work. And we'll advance at act three. Yep, that's the last one. The clasp. As you study the hidden library, you find a few pieces of information that stand out. As with the recent production, the previous performance of the King in Yellow came to Arkham from overseas and was performed by a French acting troupe. You don't recognize any of the cast members' names, and of course the actor who played the role of the stranger is anonymous. However, it seems that a member of the Historical Society has done some of your work for you. Probably that guy who, uh, you know, down, whose, whose voice became distorted and speaking no more. Let's see. Did our work for you? There are several old newspaper clippings gathered together along with information about the play. Headlines include... Cedar Playhouse closes due to fire. Experts baffled over freak floods and the like. Ooh, fire and floods. Okay, that might refer to the disasters that you can experience in Curtain Call. Hidden amongst this information, you also find a strange object, a clasp of onyx with an alien inscription. The investigators must decide. This is an important discovery. We should take it. And we go to Resolution 1. Or, it's just a silly trinket. And it'd be wrong to steal from the historical society. Leave it behind. And we go to resolution two. Ooh, this is actually a tough call. Okay, so I know that um, so Min and Min and Lola are like they they know that bad things are are bad. Like they're pretty convinced. But at the same time, like I don't know if they'd want to pick up this uh this awful, you know the this awful uh class with an alien inscription because they know it's got like evil powers and stuff. So maybe they wouldn't take it. That's actually a good question. So we'll go, it's going to take them to either res, resolution one or resolution two. Um, let's see. 
I think we're going to have them leave it behind, not because it's just a silly trinket and be wrong with the steal from the historical society, but because it's evil and, you know, it's just going to make their situation even worse. So let's head over to resolution two. Okay, where'd we go here? This investigation would make anybody paranoid. Attributing some greater meaning to everything you can, you, you find can be a dangerous proposition. You're sure that this clasp is meaningless, perhaps even a prop from the original play. You leave it behind and continue your investigation. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that's Lola and Min here. Like they, they know that, um, you know, they know the clasp is important, but they just think it's evil and they don't want to take it with them. So maybe we, maybe we should actually go with resolution one here, where they, you know, where they pick it up and take it because I don't know the flavor of this one. Just not believing it. That that, that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll have them take the clasp. Okay, because you know that resolution doesn't doesn't feel like men and Lola. There are no coincidences when it comes to the king in yellow. There is no doubt in your mind that the object you found is important. You decide to take it with you before continuing your investigation. The last record you find related to the original production of the king in yellow is a psychiatric evaluation of one Daniel Chesterfield, a stagehand who lost his wits after the final show. It seems he was admitted to the asylum after the production ended. Perhaps he's still he's still there. Okay, so we're going to take the onyx clasp. Um, let's see, we took the Onks clasp. Yeah. I mean, I, I think they would leave it behind, but not because they don't believe it. All right, so it looks like we mark a conviction to represent, I guess, that we're kind of true believers here. Okay, so one investigator must include the Onyx clasp of black Onyx weakness in his or her deck. All right, let's find what that is. That's going to be this thing right here. Oh, it's a weakness. So we take on a new weakness. All right. While Clasp of Black's Onyx is in your hand, increase the cost of each other card in your hand by one. Okay, so Min has fewer assets than Lola does, so I think I'm going to have to put this in Min's deck. Yeah, I think Min... It, it probably hurts Min less, so we'll let Min take the Clasp of Black, Black Onyx. Okay, what do we got here? Each investigator has experience equal to the Victor X value of each card in the Victor display. That's a grand total of two. Wow, that's, that's very little. Yeah, very, very few XP here. All right, and if Sebastian Moreau is slain, he's not. All right, and we're going to have Cultus in our Chaos Bag next time. Okay, so um, next, so I guess we're going to progress to the Unspeakable Oath next. So um, so that, that went pretty well. It got a little dicey there, pretty tense. Uh, maybe I should have advanced a little quicker than I did. But, you know, it's once the stress started kicking in, I guess the King's Edicts, I just want look at that. We drew... Looks like we drew like two of them in a row. Um, so the so with three cultists on the board, yeah, two king's edicts is going to be troublesome. All right. So I th but other than that, I think uh, I think we did pretty well here. We had Min, especially being able to um, remove doom off of enemies. That was that was pretty helpful. That bought us at least at least two turns, I'd say. Yeah, probably. Okay. So we're gonna move on to the unspeakable oath, and well, actually, first we're gonna do a very special interlude before doing the unspeakable oath. So tune in next time. And with that, have a great night.